Good morning, dear students. We have discussed in our previous class about matter. We have started, right? Yes. And we have learned about what is matter and what are all the what are all the scientists that has been shown. What are all atoms? What are all molecules? And uh, a little concept we have studied about uh, characteristics. Today we will discuss about briefly about the characteristics of matter. So we'll have a quick glance. What is matter? Anything that occupies space and has mass. Mass in the sense weight. Space in the sense it takes up its volume. Is nothing but matter. Okay. So it can be prescribed by our sense, by our touch, by feel, by taste, by smell, etc. All the things in our universe. Which are, which are all the things we can see all around the surroundings are nothing but matter. Okay, and we have studied about atoms. Atoms are nothing but a matter is made up of very large number of tiny, 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 tiny particles are called as what? Atoms. So, water contains million to billion what? Number of small, 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 small particles and that is called atoms. What are what are molecules? Molecules are nothing but so what? One group of an atom, one or more than an atom is called as what? Molecules. And we have studied about characteristics. The first characteristics, they are very small in size. In size, it is very small. Normal microscope also we cannot see. From our naked eye also we cannot see. This is very small. Second, they have a space between them. They have a space. Okay? They have a space between them. Next, they are in constant random motion. In the sense, they can move here to there and all. It won't be in the rest position. It will be in a constant position. It will be in a single position. It won't go anywhere. They always attract each other. They always attract each other. They are going to attract each other. Okay? Yes. Now, we shall discuss this briefly. We shall discuss this briefly. First is about they are very small in size. They are very small in size. Okay? Yes. What is regarding small in size? As you know, size is nothing but their what? Their structure. If you see, it will be very small that we cannot see from our eyes. Hence, it is very small. And we have said that the particles of matter, they are very small in size. Okay? That cannot see through our naked eyes. Understood? Okay. We have an experiment for this. We have opened laboratory in a school. You will be fascinating to know, to get to know once your school will be open. You have lab nowadays. You can go to lab, you can do a variety of experiments, of various experiments. In this also we have an experiment. Now in the class I am showing on the board. But other video will be of your what? Will be of your experiment one. Okay, next video will be of your experiment. In that you will be understand. There will be one beaker. You need to take a beaker. Okay, this is beaker. What is this? See the students. This is beaker. This is test tube. Test tube. Okay. And this is conical flask. This one is your conical flask. This is your measuring cylinder. What is this? Measuring cylinder. Now we have to take beaker. We have to take beaker. Okay. We have to take a beaker. We have to fill the water in this. You are going to fill the water. And you are going to add potassium permanganate crystals. What you are going to add? You are going to add potassium 
permanganate. So in that I am going to add potassium permanganate crystal. This is potassium permanganate and this is water. Once you add, see, in this there will be water. If you add potassium permanganate, the water color changes into pink. The water which is present in this will changes into what? Pink color. Okay, pink color. So again, we have to take three to four beakers. Again, we have to take three to four beakers. Okay, we have to fill again this water. 10 ml of this we have to insert in this. From this we have to insert. There will be dark, right? Light color will change this. Light color will, like it will become pale. It will become light. It won't become dark light. And again there will be water. Again there will be water. Again 10 ml from this again we have to insert this. If it is dark pink, again it will become pale pink. Pale in the sense light pink it will becomes light pink and again we have to fill out water and again from this we have to draw 10 ml of the water from this again the color of this changes and becomes as what pale in color light in color okay yes this is what experiment shows that a tiny crystal of potassium permanganate so we can determine that a small potassium permanganate is changing its all the color see in the small potassium permanganate it has got varieties of the particle a large number of the particles those particles are mixing and it changes into color one more experiment you can do at your home you take one tub you take one tub in that tub you fill water and you add detol you know detol antiseptic yes detol you take detol and you mix it well now and again take the same thing the same thing the same thing. two to three tubs you take so again you fill the water from the first tub you take little what the what that solution detol solution mix up in another this one smell will come and again the same you mix up in this again smell will come the next to that again tub again next to that again next to that the smell it keep on goes on continuing if you fill up 50 tubs also so that the detol has got the small 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 particle will spread into overall water that is what they are very small in size they are spreading up in a water and giving its color this is about regarding potassium permanganate this experiment you will get to know in your chemist physics lab. I will conduct, I will take you to the physics lab. I will show you in front of you. Okay, this is about. Next, they have space between them. What? They have space between them. What I can say, the space between them. The space between the molecules. See, space between the molecules of matter are called intermolecular space. Okay. See what is that space? If it has got space in that, what is that? The space between the molecules of matter are nothing but called as intermolecular space. See, there will be the spaces. Can you see the spaces? If these are the molecules, can you see the spaces here? Yes. These spaces, these spaces are called as intermolecular spaces. The space, see, the space between, if you are taking the space between, can you see the space here, students? The space, okay, the space between the molecules are called as intermolecular space. One more experiment you can do. You need to take this measuring cylinder. You need to fill some amount of water, about 80 ml of water you have to fill. Then you have to take 
some amount of salt, some amount of salt, and you have to add up, and you have to stir, and you have to check whether the level of the water increases or decreases. What you are going to do? You are going to take one cylinder, or you just take something at your home. You add water, filled out water. In that, you just add up some amount of salt to that, stir it well. Just check its space changes, its quantity increases or decreases. What? Its quantity does not decreases. Why it does not decrease? Because these salt particles will will what? Will take up the space between this molecule, water molecule. For example, what? Why it does not the why the quantity of this one will not changes? Will not change. Why it will not increase? Because the space inside this water will occupy by this salt. Okay, there will be small, 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 small spaces, right? So that space will be get filled up. Hence, it won't increases. Understood? When you add up salt, why the level of water it will not increase? Why means because this salt occupy the space. It occupy the space of water. Hence, it won't increases. Then, yes, this is about what they have space between them, and that space we call as intermolecular spaces. These two experiment I'll show in your physics lab. We'll continue with the next two characteristics in the next class. Till then, take care. Bye bye.